how do you do a plank safely and correctly? And this is another thing that you see lots of, of planks and different ab challenges and it. it goes along with core strength things. And planks are actually really difficult exercises. So if you don't have good core control to start with, you can a lot of times do them, but you're using your back, um, you're using shoulder blades, you're using all sorts of things, but you're not really engaging your stomach. So just because you can do them, doesn't necessarily mean you're doing them right. So let's go back and kind of check and see what you need to be able to do to do them well. So to start with, I'm gonna show you some modifications. So if you can't do a full plank on the floor or you feel like that's a little tough for you, there's actually lots of ways to adjust um, until you work up to that point. So one is using a wall. So you can use a wall to hold that plank position and to, um, or here I'll use the doorway so you can kind of see, um, to start to find and engage, again, those same core muscles, pulling that belly button in toward your spine, but then also starting to engage your shoulders. So that way your shoulders are talking nice to your abs and your hips. So you're gonna round your shoulders forward. You don't want them to be your shoulder blades stuck together. You wanna have good support here. You also don't want them up toward your ears. So if you're starting to shrug, you need to relax, keep them down, but keep that upper back rounded. If that seems pretty easy, then you just start moving yourself down because the lower you get toward the floor, the more body weight. So I can move to a countertop, a table, a coffee table, and it's the same thing. So you wanna be in a straight line, but it is about making sure that your abs are working, not your back, and that your shoulders are rounded, not stuck together, and that your head is in what we call neutral, which means it's not forward, it's not up here, it's really kind of that straight line position, and that your eyes are forward. Now done correctly, planks are great. They strengthen your shoulders, they strengthen your core, they strengthen your neck, but done incorrectly, they cause a lot of problems. So I'm gonna show you the modification to the ground because there's also ways to adjust even with a plank on the ground. So if you're in a class, just tweak it a little bit. You don't have to do something totally different. Once you get to the ground, you can start from your knees. You don't have to start in a full plank. You can start from your knees and get control. The other thing I want you to watch if you have hypermobility is your elbows. People with hypermobility, great at compensating. But we don't necessarily want all the compensation. So if you can hyperextend and rotate your elbows all the way around, don't do that. You want your elbows to more or less face each other. So that inside, so you can be rounded with your shoulders and still have your elbows facing in and not rotating out, okay? So once you're here, your shoulders should be on top of your hands, your hips should be in line and you should pull that belly button in toward your spine so it keeps your spine protected and you should feel it working in your abs. Again, too much coffee, not enough strength. Then you can work into a full, a full plank. Now, another option is to start to do one leg at a time, where again, you're starting to add um, resistance basically. And you can even do full plank, come back out of it. So that way you're again adjusting um, and continuing to build your strength to work on your neck and your shoulder control without um, having to just do a full plank. So lots of options for you. So keep that in mind next time you're looking at doing a plank or some sort of core or um, app program. And just because it's recommended does not necessarily mean it's recommended for hypermobility. So keep that in mind as well.